Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of travel apps. With the right apps, you can streamline your journey, save money, and enhance your overall experience. Welcome to World Wanderers. We are Alicia and Will. Come wander the world with us. Let's get started with my top picks for the best transportation apps. Getting from point A to point B smoothly is crucial, and these apps have got you covered. The first app you're going to need is a ride sharing app for the location you're visiting. When available, Uber is my go-to ride share app. Whether you need a ride to the airport or around the city, Uber offers reliable and safe transportation options. You can see the fare estimate before you book, and you can also split fares with friends, schedule rides in advance, and even select from different car options like Uber XL if you have a ton of luggage. In the US, the most popular ones are Uber and Lyft, but some countries have their own more popular or cheaper option, or even may not allow one of the rideshare apps that you already have to operate within that country. So definitely take some time to check out what the locals use for ride sharing and download it before you leave home, since sometimes you can run into issues trying to download new apps in a different country. Here's a quick reference of the popular rideshare apps by region if you'd like to take a screenshot or save it for later. But you can also do a quick Google search of the location you're going to before heading out to see what the most up-to-date options are. My next must-have transportation app is Google Maps. This is a lifesaver when it comes to navigation. It provides real-time traffic updates, public transit information, and walking directions. I made a whole video about how to set up a sightseeing plan using Google Maps walking directions that I'll link here if you'd like to check it out. Google Maps is also amazing for helping you navigate public transit. When I was younger, I'd have to find the subway map on the wall at the station, trace out the routes and connections I'd need to take, and then pray that I didn't miss my stop. Now it's super easy to just put in your destination and choose the transit option, and you'll basically have a friend holding your hand through the entire journey, telling you when to get off, how many stops you have coming up. It's a super great app. Google Maps is also awesome for exploring local businesses, creating custom maps of locations you'd like to save for later, and even accessing indoor maps for large buildings like shopping malls or airports. I love when I know exactly how many gates I need to walk to to get to the Earl of Sandwich restaurant. And don't forget to download offline maps for areas with limited internet access so that you can still use the navigation features to get turn-by-turn -turn directions if you're not going to have great service or Wi-Fi. Flight Aware is another useful transportation app. This keeps you updated on your flight status with real-time tracking. You can get notifications for delays, cancellations, and gate changes. But beyond that, you can also see where your plane is coming from. I've often realized that my flight was going to be delayed way before the airline notified me just by looking at where the plane currently was. If I saw that the flight before mine was delayed four hours, I pretty much knew there was no way that my plane was landing on time, deplaning the current flight, cleaning, and then boarding my outgoing flight on time. Another great feature of this app is the historical data of flights. If you're taking a flight that's regularly scheduled, it can be super helpful to know how often that flight is delayed or canceled. If I see that a flight is delayed more often than not, I'll know to book a longer layover at my next airport if I'm going to have a connection. Or I'll know that this is a not the red eye flight that I want to take a gamble on if I know I need to be at work early the next morning. The next category I want to talk about is booking apps. These apps make finding flights, hotels, and more a breeze. Priceline is my go-to app when I'm booking hotels using cash as opposed to using points. I found that they have way lower prices than the hotel website or Expedia or booking.com or some of the other competitors. You can also book flights, rental cars, and bundles. Additionally, you can use their express deals option for super discounted rates where they're giving you a mystery hotel. But don't worry, you can always solve the mystery. I made a whole video about Priceline Express deals, which you can check out here if you'd like to know more. What about if you don't want to pay with real money and have saved up a bunch of credit card points or airline miles to take your dream trip? That's where Seats.Arrow comes in. It'll let you input your airports and dates 
and then find the available award flights that you can pay for with points. It'll tell you exactly how many points you'd have to pay for economy, business class, or first class, and it'll even show how many seats are left. It'll also show what the additional taxes and fees are that you'd have to pay cash with, which can really vary from airline to airline. So it's a great app to compare airlines when using miles. Speaking of airlines, always download the app of the airline you're flying with. Airline apps provide mobile boarding passes, flight updates, and sometimes even in-flight entertainment options. Many also offer the ability to book tickets, select your seats, and track your frequent flyer miles. The good ones will even have push notifications of what baggage claim you need to head to once your flight has landed, or they'll notify you about a gate change so that you're not just chilling in your seat at the gate wondering why no one is announcing your boarding group. I've also downloaded um, my hotel app every time I've stayed at a large chain, and I would recommend doing this. If you're a member of any hotel loyalty program, their apps can help you manage your bookings, earn points, and even get exclusive member discounts. You can also use features like mobile check-in, room selection, and even mobile key entry in some hotels. Our next category of apps is currency apps. XE Currency is a fantastic app for real-time exchange rates. You can convert currencies on the go and even use it offline with saved rates. You can monitor multiple currencies simultaneously and set rate alerts and even access historical charts to see how rates have changed over time. I find it extra helpful when I'm jet lagged and shopping and my brain just can't math. The saved rates make it easier than using the calculator app. Another good one when it comes to international money concerns is Globe Tips. Globe Tips provides tipping advice for over 200 countries. It offers tipping suggestions for different services like taxis, hotels, restaurants, tour guides, bellhops, and more. If you're like me and worry that you're wasting money over tipping when it's already built into wages or have anxiety about being rude and not tipping when you're supposed to, this app is a lifesaver and will save you tons of time scrolling through forums for the answer where people are just debating the proper amount to tip, which inevitably spirals into a conversation about ethics and the economy of tipping and how governments and employers should just pay a living wage. But I digress. Gloom tips. Utility apps are the unsung heroes of travel. They handle all those little details that make your trip smoother. Passport Photo is something I've been using for like 10 years. The Passport Photo app allows you to take and print compliant photos right from your phone. You can choose from various country-specific templates, adjusting brightness and contrast, remove backgrounds, and even get your photos delivered to your home. I like to take the photo and then either print it from my regular printer at home if I have photo paper or send it to a photo printing store like Walmart Photo or CVS. They always turn out perfect and it only costs me a few cents compared to the ridiculously high passport photo prices. Plus, you can decide how many retakes you want and you won't end up looking like a serial killer if that's not what you're going for. Pro tip. Print out an extra one or two and keep it in your passport holder or wallet in case you need to apply for a visa, since sometimes visa applications will require a photo. Another app I use in everyday life, but more often when I'm traveling, is Find My. Find My is a built-in app for iPhone users that helps you locate your lost devices. You can also use it to share your location with family and friends to feel more secure while you're traveling alone. I'm not sure how much it would help, but I like to know that my mom, who's constantly monitoring my location when I'm traveling alone, will at least know what embassy or police department to call if I'm lost or abducted in another country. Find My also has cool features like playing a sound to find your nearby devices, viewing the last known location, and enabling lost mode to lock your device and display a message for the finder. You can also buy AirTag devices to put in your luggage, which will allow you to see where your luggage is on a map if it's lost, or so you're not killing time at the baggage claim when it turns out your luggage didn't even make your connection. Another great app is Priority Pass. Priority Pass gives you access to over 1,300 airport lounges worldwide. It's a great way to relax and enjoy some amenities before your flight, like free food, alcohol, a place to sit with chargers, or even some other um, experiences like spa treatments, sleep pods, and dining discounts in certain locations. 
I get Priority Pass access for free through my American Express Platinum card and through my Chase Sapphire Reserve card, but it's available through some other cards as well, or if you don't want to go the credit card route, you can also pay individually for access. Uh, the Priority Pass definitely has paid for the annual fee on my credit cards many times over, especially since you're allowed to bring two guests on every visit. I'll leave the link in the description to the credit cards I'd recommend below if you want to check them out. Radical Storage is another helpful app. It allows you to find secure places to store your luggage while you explore a city. No more dragging your bags around all day on a super long layover or after you get off a cruise ship but have a day to kill before your flight. You can also see user reviews, book online for immediate confirmation, and get insurance coverage for your belongings for local stores, hotels, and other places that have a side hustle of storing bags. Another app that may not be glamorous but is super helpful is called Flush. Flush helps you find public restrooms nearby. It's a lifesaver when you're in an unfamiliar place. You can also see user ratings, access information on disabled access, and even add new locations to help other travelers. It'll let you know if it's a paid restroom or if it's free, which can be especially helpful in Europe where you often need a euro in cash and restrooms are not always easy to recognize. Our next category is tourism apps. These can enhance your travel experience by helping you discover new places and activities. Visit a city is one I've been using for years that's often my starting point for traveling to major cities. It offers detailed city guides and itineraries. You can choose how many days you'll have to explore a city and it'll show you a realistic plan and tailor it to you whether you just want to see the highlights or go more in depth with history or if you want a jam-packed itinerary to see it all. You can find the best attractions, tours, and restaurants tailored to your interests. You can also access offline maps, create custom itineraries, and get insider tips from local experts. Viator is my go-to app for booking day tours worldwide. From sightseeing tours to unique local experiences, Viator has something for everybody. You can read reviews, get mobile vouchers, and often enjoy free cancellations up to 24 hours before your activity. I almost always book cruise excursions through Viator instead of the ship. It's often the exact same excursion at half the price. It's also great for when you're in a city and want to take a day trip to another city without renting a car. For example, me and my husband spent a week in Dubrovnik, Croatia, and we used Viator to book a day trip to Bosnia and Herzegovina and another trip to Montenegro. It was super affordable, flexible, and we just showed up to see things. It was great. When I'm looking for a restaurant while traveling, TripAdvisor is my go-to app. You can read reviews, check ratings, and even see photos of the dishes and menus to ensure you pick the best dining spots. You can also find nearby attractions, book tables, and use the Near Me Now feature to explore what's around you. It's also an amazing app to see what things there are to do while traveling and more. Staying connected is important while traveling, and there's one communication app which has been the clear winner worldwide, WhatsApp. Whether it's keeping in touch with loved ones or communicating with a tour guide or hotel when you don't have international calling or texting, WhatsApp can save the day. This popular messaging app lets you text, call, and video chat for free over Wi-Fi. It's perfect for staying in touch with friends and family back home without paying international fees. You can also share your live location, create group chats, and use end-to-end -end encryption for added security. Google Translate is another must if you're like me and only speak English, or if you're traveling anywhere where you don't know the local language. Don't get me wrong, I always try to learn please, thank you, hello, goodbye in the local language, but realistically, I'm not going to be able to learn 100 languages if I want to see the whole world. Google Translate helps here. It'll allow you to communicate in over 100 languages. You can use it to translate text, speech, and even images. I find the image translation especially helpful when I'm looking at a menu at a restaurant or when I'm looking at a street sign while parking. It also has a conversation mode for real-time bilingual conversations, which can be especially helpful if the person you're speaking with may not be able to read. 
A lot of the languages are also available to downline for offline usage, so make sure to do this in advance if you may be in an area with no internet access. And there you have it, my top travel apps that you need to download before your next trip. Thanks so much for watching. If you have a travel app that you think people should know about, please leave it in the comments. I'm always looking for more. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to continue to wander the world with us. Safe travels.